Hello and welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I'm Greg, and this is Channel 1. Now you can probably notice that you're not seeing my face today, and that's because I'm going to be changing things up in the way that I set up and do my videos. You're going to be seeing my logo from now on. Uh, I want to thank Wix.com because they were the guys who um, helped me create it. So uh, thank you very much, guys. Um, it's a very, very good company. I managed to find one where I could do a nice basic logo without really having to break the bank. Uh paid thirteen ninety for a uh one I think they called it like a one time basic and so that gives me a bunch of different colour schemes and so on and so forth. So um, let me know what you think of the logo and we can you know, if you find that you want to see a different look, you know, maybe we can I can change it up and then see which one is most popular. Anyway, let's get into what I'm here to talk about, which is Million Yen Women, Series 1, Episode 2. Ep the ne episode's name is Values. So, let's have a quick rundown of the basics of what happened in the first episode in respect of a basic summary of who the main players are. So, the main character is Shin Michima. He is a failing novelist. And six months prior to the start of the first episode, five women just randomly showed up, his pl showed up at his place, giving him one million yen a month, and they'd all gained an invitation to suddenly start living with him. They go by the names of Yuki Kobayashi, Hitomi Sukamoto, Minami's, Minami Shirakawa, Nanika, Hika, Nanika Hiraki, and Midori Suzuma. So we'll get on to the certain characters that are needed when we get round to them. Okay, so uh, as a, uh, you found out at the end of the first episode, Shin's father, Tatsuyuki Michima, had killed three people and is currently on death row. Five years previous to the start of the first episode, he had killed his wife, Kayu Michima, Mamoru Doi, his wife's uh, lover, uh, she'd been having an affair, and Hiroshi Mizuguchi, who was the first police officer who showed up at the scene of the crime. Uh, the episode opens up very, uh, very much, uh, gives you the basic run, basic recap of what happened in the previous episode, just in case you have taken a break between watching episode one and episode two. Uh, so the episode opens up with part of the murder. He's c killed the lover already. He's clearly killed his wife. And he's just stabbing her and stabbing her and stabbing her. Hiroshi Mizuguchi comes in to try and stop Tatsuki Michima from killing... Well, continue just to keep stabbing his wife. In his rage, he's pushed Hiroshi Mizuguchi down and he's smacked his head and is bleeding out. Second police officer shows up and reprimands him. And so we see this right off the bat. And we find out throughout the episode Tatsuyuki is not remorseful for killing his wife and his wife's lover, but he does feel a lot of remorse and guilt for killing the police officer, Hiroshi Mizuguchi, because you know, he didn't intend to kill him. You know, he was not meant to die. You know, he, you know, he says, you know, I do not feel regret for killing my wife, your mother Shin, or her lover. I, I do not regret it. You know, I would have done this because of what they did. Which, I th you know, Shin brings up to his as he's you know slowly walking away after visiting his father he comes up with the thought of just because you have a reason to kill someone does that justify killing them you know that you know should you you know is his father right for not feeling remorse for killing two people even though he had a reason to kill them which i thought was a nice thing where you know it's highlighting that Shin feels so much guilt for what his father has done 
and also for what his mother has done. And you feel that later on in the episode as well. Uh, you, we also then find out um, that Sheen's first novel had won a contest three days after the murder. So after his dad had killed his wife, his wife's lover, and the police officer, we find out, you know, Sheen found out that he'd won a contest with his first novel. So, um, you know, we continue with that, and we find out that uh, through Shin visiting his father, that he has visited the Mizuguchi house since Tatsuyuki killed Hiroshi Mizuguchi, and so on. We find out that he is still visiting, and you can tell that Shin feels guilty for what his father's done. It's almost like a shame, you know, like, my father's a monster, which means everyone's going to automatically think I'm a monster monster as well. You know, and you can tell that that, that, that you know, he feels wounded by what his father's done. And I think that's, yeah, you know, the, the way the actor portrays it through Sheen's very timid and almost passive way that he just goes through life. You know, it, it's very much evident that he feels he can't be happy because of what his father's done. Yeah, and yeah, the 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 way that you got the little bit of a dynamic between Mrs. M Mrs. Mizuguchi and Shin. You know, she feels like he's being too kind because he's trying to because of his timid nature and the fact that he feels he's got to try and make up for what his father did. You then find out that uh, Tatsuki has been sending letters to Mrs. M Mrs. Mrs. Mizuguchi and that you know, she hasn't read a single one. She tells Shin, can you tell him to stop sending them? You know, I'm never going to read them. You know, you take them instead. Please. And Shin does, because Shin's a nice guy. Uh, following on from that, we get like a nice bit of back and forth between Nanika, Hitomi, and Minami. And I must say, Minami's my favourite so far. Or at least at that point, I was like, yep, yeah, she's definitely my favourite of the million yen women. So, yeah, that was quite nice to, you know, see. Uh, Midori's brother shows up again, and he's a little bit of an arse. You know, he's... He seems like he's just a pest rather than anything dangerous. Uh, he, he looks like he's classed as a typical punk as such, you know. Oh, look at me, I'm big and tough, because, you know, all i got to do is go, Midori! Money, please, and Midori just throws money at him, hoping he'll bugger off. Uh, yeah, back to the uh, Comfort Club, which I think I brought up in the first episode. Which is almost like a brothel. I'm guessing it's yeah. You know, it, it um, that that's the vibe I'm getting from it, and that's what I think. That's I think that's the whole point of it. Uh, she's she's you know, uh, Hit Hitoru is basically a, a whore, basically, but almost to comfort Shin, you know, they, not only do they have sexual encounters, they seem to talk a lot, they seem to try and understand each other, they try to find more con more of a connection than just their sexual encounters, which I, I think is quite a nice thing, because it opens you up to the way that Shin feels, because he's talking to someone he feels he can talk to, to a degree. Well, that, I thought that was quite nice. Uh, we then get a nicer scene of them having their dinner. Or, well, Shin has just cooked dinner, he's about to, you know, dish the food out for them, and they're all going to take dig in, whilst, uh... Ah, Sakurai. <laughs> Uh, Sakurai being obviously Shin's uh, manager or such, 
of his uh, his publisher maybe that it's kind of that's kind of how it feels um you know he's like oh you got to look at the magazine it's you know huh, it's uh <clears throat> <clears throat> Whew. it's yuzu hanakai hanaki 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 we'll go with hanaki sounds about right and you know it goes very much with the fact that you know he's the cover star you know and he's got you know this big section that's written by a character who we'll encounter later on in the episode who's a bit of an ass uh, called Moriguchi who I don't particularly like already but um as they're about to dish up the dinner you know Sucker <laughs> Sakurai is brilliant in the way that he gets rid of the magazine. He just grabs it and launches it behind him, as if to go, It wasn't here. There was no magazine here at all. You didn't see anything. Which I thought was quite nice. It, you know, it shows that little bit of humour he has. And uh, we then get a little... Um, I must say, we get the, the first look of Yuzu as well through the magazine. He looks like he should be in a J-pop group, or sh like he should be in some kind of boy band. But he's got style. I'll give the I'll give the guy that. He's he's got style. So obviously, moving on from that, there is so there is so much that happens in this episode. But it's it's all important, and it's all advancing everything, and it's really really enjoyable. I, I've I really enjoyed this episode. I want to know who's behind all the facts. Faxes, though, and it's nice seeing a fax machine. You know, just getting all these messages come through for Mishima, and it's just like, oh, oh, it, it, is it possibly the person who sent the invites? Could it possibly be Mrs. Mrs. Mizuguchi, and that's how she's trying to deal with it? Is it? someone who's trying to mess with him maybe it's Moriguchi it, th there's a few people that you think to yourself could it be them and hopefully the next yeah hopefully the rest of the season will give us more into that uh, we find out that Nanika read the article and she doesn't like Moriguchi because of the fact that Moriguchi slanders Sheen and Nanika's great I love her I think she's brilliant I think she's possibly my favourite of the million yen women, closely followed by Minami. But that's because Minami's just so blunt that she's so brilliant. You know, it, it, you know, ah, oh, loved her dynamic with Shin. And the fact that she just keeps calling him Novel. Not, not, doesn't call him by his name, it's Novel. She even has like a joke with him at one point, uh, going, Would you rather I call you Lousy Novel? And he's like, mm, mm, no. <laughs> it, it's it, the, the, their dynamic is brilliant. Uh, Moriguchi seems to be very, very, very praising of Hanaki. Maybe Moriguchi is going to become like an antagonist to the story. I hope. I hope so, because he annoys me enough that he should be some kind of antagonist. Uh, I like the fact that Nanako is interested in what is, you know, what Shin's writing. And I have to say, the way that Shin describes it, I mean, what? A story where nothing happens. I mean, d uh, is that just him not believing in himself? Or m maybe that's the reason he's unsuccessful, I guess? Because it, he writes a story where n n nothing happens? I don't... Uh, hmm... Anyway, more into we get more into Shin. You know, he seems to carry others' actions as his guilt. You know, he 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 seems he seems to just carry all the weight of everything that goes wrong and just goes right. I can carry that. I can carry that. I can carry that. And kind of expecting it to just kind of I don't know. He, it's almost like he is expecting. You know, like he feels like he deserves it because you know. Because his mother was cheating on his father, and that his father killed them both. You know, his mother, his mother's lover, killed a police officer, and kind of killed some of Shin as well. 
in the fact that this has caused trouble for Shin. Shin's getting these horrible fax machine messages. You know, it's you know, it, Shin feels that he deserves it, and you know, I hope that over the over the rest of the series, Shin finally learns to let go because seeing how much it seems to drag on him it's it's sad it's quite upsetting because I quite like him I think he's a very nice protagonist he seems to be a good guy uh, Yuzu seems to rate Moroguchi's opinion very highly because Moroguchi is like Yuzu Hanaki you are the god of all writing you are the supreme novelist and all that MacGuffin which makes me dislike him even more. Although I don't dislike Haneke yet. There's a chance that he could become a, an antagonist to Shin. Because obviously he's another writer. So it's you know novelist versus novelist. Possibly. But we'll see how the rest of the series goes. I mean Moriguchi is very odd in the way that he... It, it, it's the way that he carries himself. The way that he talks. It's, there's almost a... Almost a pettiness behind the way that he doesn't like Shin. Read his first novel and went, nope, he's a bad writer, can't do anything. Don't like him, hate him. He's like, oh, okay. You're a bit petty. Fun, fun. But maybe that's just because he's set in his ways and he wants things done a certain way. Hence why he praises Yuzu Hanaki, because he does it things a way that Moriguchi likes. I like the fact that they do the dynamic of the popular writer finds it easy to write, where Shin does not. Uh, we get a little bit of an insight into what Minami actually does a job. I was, I, you know, I said in the previous video, I want to know what she does. She has her own kind of chauffeur bodyguard guy. And we finally find out his name, Mr. Sunako. And boy, is that guy looking awesome. And he makes slippers look cool as well. It, it, I don't quite get it, how he made it look cool. But he's just got like this full black suit with white shirt. And then he's got these white slippers, because obviously it's kind of like a traditional thing of take your shoes off, you wear slippers around the house. But, ah, oh, that's brilliant. Uh, and we find out that Minami pretty much runs a high-end brothel. Kind of. Uh, like a... You hire a girl for services. They come to Minami. Minami dolls them up, collects the money, sends obviously Sunako out with the girl to make sure the girl is safe. I'm guessing. And you know, uh, Ayane. Oh, what was her surname? Ayane Hirokawa. She was in the last episode on a billboard. We see her again on the billboard, and then we obviously see her in person and she's a pretty girl but um you know they can't uh Minami talks about how you know everyone's value changes over time you know she's a very very pretty girl now kind of thing but over time she may start to lose her looks so obviously you know got to make a business out of it and says that men pay up to 10 million yen for one night with her and you're like Whoa! I mean, I I I did the uh, conversion. That for us British people who use the pound sterling, seventy thousand pounds nine hundred thirty-five, seventy thousand nine hundred and thirty-five pounds and thirty-four pence. I mean, yikes! Uh, we then get little see little glimpses where you know she's at work theoretically. Ayane is at work, kind of, as her brothel thing. And then Minami is kind of almost getting cl really, really into Shin's face and very much like, right, I want to, you know, I, I want to know what your values are. You know, you, you, you seem to be unstable with your values of everything. And then out of nowhere... She kisses him, and his response is just like, do, 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 what? 
and it seems that maybe they're going to go down the route of those two being a couple. I mean, personally, I'd like him to be with Nanika because Nanika, Nanika, like you, know, you can tell there's a attraction between the two of them to a degree. Um, the fact that she's got the nickname Michi for him, I think that's adorable. But yeah, I think this uh, is a great follow-up. Granted, a lot happens, but obviously, you know, there is the language barrier, so I'm having to read subtitles and everything. But it's a very, very good story, and it feels like it's building to going somewhere. So, all the better. Anyway, that is the end of my review of episode two of season one of Million Yen Women, episode name Values. Have you seen it? What do you think? Feel free to click the like button, click the subscribe, put your thoughts in the comment section below, and thank you very much for listening. Keep an keep an eye out, and let me know what you think of the logo. Let me know what you'd think of the videos, and whether uh, whether whether you want to watch Million Yen Women through these reviews. Anyway, thank you very much, and. Have a lovely day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, where, what, whatever time it is. Enjoy it, and see you at the next video. Goodbye.